Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Sammy Caps here. Uh, we are 24 hours into season four, Diablo 4, and the number one question I continue to be asked, not only in DMs, but live on my streams every evening, is what do you think of season four? Do you like it? How are you enjoying it? I get asked that question, so a lot. So in this video, I want to cover my first initial impressions of season four. And then I also want to incorporate what I envision Diablo 4 is going to be doing in the future. We are potentially, if my calculations are correct, we are around six months away from the big expansion of the Vessel of Hatred that's coming later on in the end of 2024. I want to talk about that and I'm going to put my neck on the line here and I'm going to give you my take on new mechanics, new things, new content that I believe are going to come to Diablo 4 in the future. And I'll explain my rationale behind it. I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, first things first, season four, the good, the bad, the ugly. So season four, well, let me tell you, it's season of the loot reborn. It's season XP at a massive accelerated rate. It's season easy mode activated, yada, yada, yada. Um, all to say season four is going to be by a country mile, the most popular season and the best season that the Diablo 4 team have created uh, by a landslide. First of all, this is the fourth season, duh, season four. Uh, and the first three, two of them were complete duds. So really we're only comparing season four against season two. And season two was well received. Although no questions, I don't think I'm gonna get any arguments on this one. And I think the sentiment out there is felt by everyone season four is going to be the best season that blizzard has made for the diablo 4 game easy peasy decision not, no question the so the good the good is and a small minority of people that i've spoken to don't like it but i would say an overwhelmingly huge majority are going to appreciate this and that is the fact that getting to level 100 is super easy and as an example i had irl get in the way with the launch of season four i could not play when the game launched and tonight was the only night uh where i started late and i'm already in my uh i think i just went over level 60 it's probably around seven eight hours of gameplay i know some people have gotten to level 100 in like 12 13 14 hours um so that's crazy that's unheard of it wasn't like that in prior seasons so getting to 100 is super easy the reason why i think that's going to be a huge w to the player base of diablo 4 that is the casual player who doesn't have an enormous amount of time to spend playing video games they're going to be able to get to level 100 easily we are not going to have if you guys remember going back to season one where blizzard actually said the huge majority of players haven't even finished a campaign they're not they don't they haven't gotten to level 100 let alone finish the campaign that is not happening in season four it's going to have the most level 100s by a country mile compared to all the other seasons so i think that's a good thing it opens up the door and provides accessibility to everyone whether you're casual or hardcore so i think that's a huge w obviously loot reborn referencing itemization more quantity over quality sorry quality over quantity sorry uh i think that's also a good thing this itemization changes to the game are huge now personally i think this is entry level they need to continue to build on that but the fact that we now as they've coined it in the past have a journey with their gear i think provides repeatability as i've said in other uh videos of mine so the f this item these itemization changes tempering master working the tempering manuals although i believe 
need improving and building on is a huge, huge W and a step in the right direction. Now, Helltides, super fun. It is the meta for leveling and getting XP quick. Diablo 4 and Blizzard need to continue to build off of that and diversify our options. Diversity is huge in video games. You need to be able to give players multiple avenues to play how they want to play. And we've seen a shift where leveling require in the past was nightmare dungeons nightmare Gen dungeons is where you netted the best xp uh for your time now it's hell ties now hell ties are super fun i'm not going to get into all the mechanics but super fun so another w is that now the changes they made to the pit although i have not gotten there yet i did test it in the ptr but i have not started grinding the pit in uh, season four but from what i've researched and heard uh pit level 150 is now the equivalent of the abattoir zero level 25 and that was a massive difficult challenge so if that is true another big w i think they need to start ramping up the difficulty in this game like i personally the capstones just the bosses in the capstones, they're easy peasy. And I went into the capstones under leveled and still was able to beat both capstones uh, without any difficulty. But that is, these are the things that they need to fine tune moving forward. Uh, I have to say the fact that if I can really nitpick here, uh, a lot of people made comments about the fact that when the launch happened for season four, the preload was not pre-dropped. Players didn't have an opportunity to preload the game prior to season four being turned on. Um, Blizzard, that's a no-no. You need to give players that have slower PCs and machines the opportunity to load the game prior to the game dropping. Um, typically, you know, some uh, games will drop it hours before the drop of the release. Uh, I don't know why that decision was made. Not everyone has an amped up PC. So uh, I think in the future, it would be nice if you could at least give people half an hour. You know, personally, I think one hour is the bare minimum. Uh, but it's not fair that players that don't have great PCs are watching other people play the game while their slow machine is still downloading the game. Uh, but that's a minor, minor thing. But I think if you want to do everybody good, I think you should give at least one hour preload time for these updates. Now, what I really want to discuss, because look, season four is going to be very popular very well received everybody's having a lot of fun and so I, I i got nothing but good things to say about season four but it's a start it in my opinion we still well blizzard has to continue to pump out w's right so we're in season four in my estimation we have season five and then vessel of hatred vessel of hatred we already know is going to be uh late october sorry, late 2024. Now, I have said in the past, I personally think they're going to launch Vessel of Hatred uh, according to their financials, which the uh, end of the fourth quarter is December 31st. So October, November, and I think we did we did the math on stream one night, and it, it's a mid-November launch, which goes into Christmas time and sales and all that kind of stuff, and it'll still hit the books, their financials, for December 31st, because remember, they are going to charge for that expansion. There's no way it's going to be free. In my estimation, they're going to want to capitalize on it. And there's a reason why I believe they're going to charge a hundred bucks plus, and we're going to get into that because that'll lead me into the other topic I wanted to talk about in this video. And that is what is the future of Diablo 4? They've hit one could argue a home run in season four. 
very well received. It's going to be very interesting to see if we hear anything about how many players came back. That is going to be... I, I can't wait to see if Blizzard shares them. Now, typically, they don't share player count and all that kind of stuff. But I would imagine when the news is good, they like promoting it. So we'll wait and see to see if they actually say something about the player count. But I want to talk about Beyond Season 4 because they have a big W here with Season 4. And financially, they need to sell Vessel of Hatred. They need that to be successful. So what can they do? from that perspective. And then there's the fact that what can they do to build on this momentum and build on the game? And that leads me to a topic that was discussed about six months ago. And I'm talking about a data mine leak. Uh, so this was back in uh, around six months ago. And there was this discussion and we've had data mine leaks in Diablo 4 numerous times. And I want to say the data mine leaks that have come around Diablo 4 have been pretty accurate. They called the seasonal theme, if you want to call that in season four, the Iron Wolves, they called that. They called a lot of things um, that were accurate. So I'm going out on a limb and I think this data mine is going to come to fruition. Um, so this was six months ago, and this was posted on Reddit. And basically, um, Blizzard made a mistake where they realized the they didn't change the key, something about a branch key, and this information was on that server, which people uh, were able to extract. And... They got all this information out of the data mine. And I think this aligns perfectly with what's going to happen to Diablo 4. Now, I don't know if this is going to be slowly introduced in Season 5 or if this is going to be the big bang that's going to come with the Vessel of Hatred, okay? Um, I th personally think that all this stuff is going to be the selling features of the $100 plus price point for the expansion, the very first expansion in Diablo 4. And let's start with what everybody has been complaining about basically since <laughs> season two is we, when are you giving us a new class? And it looks like if the data mine is accurate, and I'm going to put myself and make a prediction here. We are going to get a new class. Again, guys, before I say everything that I agree with on this data mine, remember, I'm, a, I'm saying it because from a business perspective, Blizzard has to justify the price point of the expansion. So can you like... Can you imagine if all these things are included in the expansion? Do you they're gonna be able to sell that expansion? No problem, easy peasy. So a new class. Now the data mine said it's some sort of spirit born class, and we'll wait and see. A lot of people have made comments around the classes that they want. You know, Diablo two classes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, Paladin, all this kind of stuff, right? But it looks like it's going to be some sort of hybrid spirit born. Here's an image of it. It's going to um, have a uh, sword and a shield and 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 like bats swarming and stuff. It looks really, really interesting. Looks like we're getting new zones, which is cool. <clears throat> also, we're getting new monsters. And here's here are some of the images around the parry and the repost uh, a parry in the game interesting i love parries by the way it's it's a unique unique thing to have in a game we're looking at new class skills for all the current classes in the game um so barbarian is going to have a weapon throw rogue is going to have a repost necromancer is going to have death on slot etc etc looks like there's going to be new passives for the the classes and and they list them 
But here's where we get into the game evolving. And again, justifying the heavy price point for the expansion is we're going to get a mercenary. Now, mercenaries have been discussed before. This is a Diablo 2 thing. And I personally think they are going to do this. We are going to have a mercenary in the Vessel of Hatred. And it looks like we're going to be able to do craft construction I construct items, craft empowered items, and craft food, which is another unique thing in the game. We have not seen that before. So enhancing and building on the crafting and the types of things we can craft. But to me, this next one is where it hits home for me. And if you've watched me on stream or my content, you know how pro raid I am. It looks like if this data mine is accurate, and I am saying that this is going to happen in the Vessel of Hatred, we are going to get raids in Diablo 4. Hallelujah. Personally, I know, I know a lot of of you will not like this but i'm sorry me personally i'm gonna love this so looks like we are getting raids it's gonna be obviously multiplayer i don't think you can do a raid by yourself looks like there's a raid crafter and like i've mentioned in prior videos of mine other games, and I personally played Destiny, which had raids. Um, they had raid races, worlds first. It provided so, and then the raid specific gear. It looked, and in Destiny, you could also, they had challenges in raids where they had higher difficulties. They had no deaths and completing the raid, and there was rewards uh, um, correlated with that, higher rewards and stuff like that. Looks like, they're contemplating the same thing where there's a raid difficulty. So it looks like there's different levels of raid completions and elevating the difficulty. I would hope that translates into the gear and the weapons and whatever. In Destiny, there was even cosmetics involved with like an emblem, for example. So when you were out in the world, and people looked at your profile, they're like, holy crap, Sammy Caps defeated the raid on the highest difficulty because an, my emblem was only only dropped once you achieved that specific task in the raid. So it was, it, it, it was you know, you're pumping your own tires and you're kind of just flexing out in the world, right? And believe me, it works. Players go crazy for that kind of stuff. Um, so it looks like there's going to be different raid difficulties, which I personally thumbs up on that. Now, you PvP players, looks like they want to have a PvP arena event area. Like, there... Now, I, I don't know how much of a PvP player base there is in Diablo 4, but... I know it was huge in D2, and it still exists today, uh, PV, PvP events in Diablo 2. So I would imagine this is going to hit home with a good chunk of the player base. A lot of players love PvP. Um, so this is going to sing to them big time. Looks like they're toying with a mount. And, and in the data mind, it looked like a cat. And looks like we're getting new world bosses, uh, which is is a no-brainer. They need to add more world bosses. Again, diversity in the game. Now, wow. That is, again, this is not new news. <laughs> this is old news from a data mine six months ago. But I think it's appropriate that we talk about it today since... We're in the early stages of season four. Everything's going good. I think it's critical that Blizzard, Blizzard cannot afford any more L's when it comes to their content. They need to build on this momentum. And personally, I'm struggling with the middle piece, right? We're in season four. 
there's season five, and then there's the expansion. I really want to see season five is going to be critical because they can't have an L. They need a W. And if they're saving everything that I just discussed for the Vessel of Hatred, I just am very curious to see how they flip the switch with all that new content from the data mine, which I personally believe is going to become fruition. It's going to be in the game. I can't see how they cannot. They need to justify the huge price tag, as I said before. Anyway, this is my prediction. Only time will tell whether I'm right or wrong. I, I do want to have one final thought that in reference to season four, and this is true for Diablo 4 moving forward. Season four is also the season of the Necromancer by a long shot. Everywhere you go, you can't help but notice Necromancers out there. And that's just because they've buffed the build so much. So I have one comment to Blizzard about that. And my question to you, Blizzard, is why can't every class be like the Necromancer is in Season 4? Why not? I don't understand why you're gatekeeping builds. Why are you gatekeeping them? You should have this kind of feel and overpowerness with all the builds, not just one. It just, if you have all the classes like the Necromancer is in season four, if they're all like that, then you're just adding more gameplay to the hands of the players playing your game. What do I mean by that? There's a lot of players out there that like to have multiple level 100 characters. They want to play, there's players out there that want to play all the classes. Well, they're not going to do that if one class is so superior than the others. They're just not. Now, don't get me wrong. There are players, regardless of the class being OP or not, they're going to want to try different builds. But can you imagine if you had all the builds like the Necromancer is in Season 4? You would just, I think you would attract more players playing more than one build. If, if that makes any sense. Anyway, that's my final thought. I don't know, I don't understand why they're gatekeeping certain classes and they're up and down, up and down. When you, one season, this class is good. The rest suck. One season, like, why are we yin and yang in this thing? Just make them all amazing and, and, and open the floodgates for the players to try it. That's all I'm saying. I personally think it's going to be good for your game. People are going to play it more and they're not going to leave. Because that's the other thing that's going to happen in Season 4. Players are going to get to level 100 quick. They're going to do the content that they want to do. And then they're gone. Right? So if you have more classes that are like the Necromancer, it just opens up the door for more people to play more, is all I'm saying. Anyway, if you're playing Season 4, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your good, bad, and the ugly, if there is. And I would love to hear from you. And... What are your thoughts on this old information six months ago about the data mine leak and all this new content? Do you believe like me that it's going to come to fruition? I'd love to hear your comments on the data mine. And actually, what are your thoughts on the content that is in the data mine? Do you agree that it will be a good thing for Diablo 4? Anyway, I want to thank you for watching my video and... You would help my channel tremendously if you could like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. It'll help me out big time. And as always, hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.